Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day everyone My name is Sunaren So in this good opportunity I would like to make an oral video presentation With title EFL Learners Learning Style and Their Attribute Gather this from Journal EFL Learners Learning Styles and Their Attribute Written by Du Tong Wan National University of Ho Chi Minh City As my resources and references This is to fulfill my assignment in academic speaking lesson to our mentor, Sir Muhammad Chandra SPD MBD. The purpose of my presentation is to examine EFL students' preferred learning styles and linkage between learning styles, preference, and individual attributes such as field of study, length of tertiary study, gender, ages, learning language experience, and English proficiency level. 100 72 students were already invited in the questionnaire survey. But before we are going to carry on our interesting discussions, first I will start with explaining the flow of my presentations just to make it easier and don't go wrong from the topic. The first introductions were uh, the first intro the first is introductions where we will know deeper about our discussions. Uh, next, the, liter the literature review. Uh, many explanations and definition will be tell in, will be tell in these sections. Uh, after that, we will come to how the researchers gather their data to complete their research and write this journal. Next, of course, after doing the research, we will find something. So that will make us to the find and discussion sections. After that, the conclusions and last is my suggestion as a student who still learn and need so much to learn and then our study will be complete okay section one introductions so the most important research endeavor and educational improvement in recent years is the shift from an emphasis on the language teaching methodology to language learners and, vari and variables that influence language learning Mainstream language teaching no longer gives teaching method to be the key factor in determining uh, to the success or the failure of language teaching and learning. Uh, it's stated by Richard and Roger 2001. Learners shape this own learning process enormously. The rise of individual differences research has brought forth new perceptions of the nature of learner differences. More and more researchers have been conducted to handle individual differences in the learning process such as Biostock 1979, Chappell and Roberts 1986, Nyman and Follick and Tedesco 1975, Rubin 1975 also. Uh, this research has centered much on such a fundamental questions as what makes a good language learner and why some students develop proficiency more briskly and easy than others do. So, one of the causes is that there are considerably individual differences in the language learning in terms of many guys, uh, gender, ages, social status, motivations, even attitude, aptitude, and even culture. Uh, what works for one learner might not work for another. Don't know why. There is the fact that students take in comprehend information and in different manners. Some prefer to learn individually, whereas others prefer to interact with their peers. Some enjoy listening to lecture, while others like to do more experiments. It is widely believed by numerous researchers. Uh, for example, uh, for example, like Cobb, 1984, Ray, 1987, Celso Murcia, uh, 2001 that the different ways of how a learner takes in process information are collective, referred to as learning style or learning preferences. While researchers and EFL teachers in several countries have discussed a great deal on the topic of learners' characteristic difference in, ling difference in learning English, and language learning style have been one of the most popular aspects of researchers have focused on. Little attention has paid to this field in Vietnam. Hey, yeah, Vietnam, Vietnam. Up to now, only a few studies have been found. Some researchers such as Nguyen, 19, 1989, Tao, 1982, and Lee, 1982 also, as well, 
in their studies revert to learning strategies in general. Li and Nguyen 2005 investigated the different reading style preferences of the ESP at Ton Duk Tang University. Alright, we come to the next explanations guys about the literature review discussions. And like I said before, we will have a several explanations about definition of learning style and framework category here in this section. Definition of learning style. A number of definition for term learning style can be found in the literature. In the earlier days of this type of research, the terms cognitive style was used rather than learning styles. States by Swanson 1995. So in the er so in the earlier day, the words or the term the termination is not learning style but cognitive style. Cognitive style has been defined in numerous ways. First, cognitive characteristic, modes of functioning that reveal through one perceptual and intellectual activities in a highly consistent, persuasive way. Second, a superordinate construct involved in many cognitive personality variable and three intrinsic in and third intrinsic information processing patterns that represent a person typical mode of perceiving of perceiving sorry guys remembering thinking and a problem solving Clarkston and Murrell 1987 Greek 1999 according to Kirby Kirby nightmare 1979 the terms learning styles came into in use when researchers uh, began to looking for ways to combine course presentations and material to match the needs of each learner. So from this perspective, learning style is considered a broader term that include the construct of cognitive style uh, done and done 1979 as cited in Ray uh, 1987. Divine learning styles as a term that describes the variations among learners in using one or more senses to understand, organize, and retain experience. Framework for learning style categorizations. According to Swanson 1995, one model that has greatly impacted impact the field of learning styles is Hermann 1976, constructed the field dependence and field independence which measure the extent of which person is influenced by surrounding field. Field independent individual who are able to perceive the figure in the might in the minds of the surrounding field function more autonomously since their reliance on internal reference allow them to structure situations on their own. On the other hand, field dependent or field sensitive people who are unable to pick up the figure are more influenced by the by and sensitive to their environment, including other people. They use the entire they use the entire surroundings to process information. In class, for example, field sensitive students are as a concern about human relations, interactions, and communication style of the instructor as they are about the delivery of a content. Anderson and Adams, 1992, Griggs, 1991. Oh yeah, then. Hi, hi, I don't know, it's a French name. 1986. Research methodology. The participants. Like I said before, 100, sorry, 100, oh yeah, 172 students, uh, uh, one, 104 of them are females and 68 of them are males. From 10 intermediate EFL classes at the Center for Foreign Language of the University of Social Science and Humanities in Ho Chi Minh City, or we call it USSHHCMC for short, were invited to participate to participate in the study. The average age was, yeah, well, 22, 18 years, ranging from 16 to 42 years old. The participants vary were variate greatly in terms of the length of the learning experience. The mean the min years of learning experience were was eight eight uh, eight point sixty one with a standard division four point zero seven from the mean. The research instrument the instrument used in the study was the questionnaires, the most common method of collecting survey data. Uh, the the perceptual learning style prefer preference questionnaires comments with a brief descriptions of six learning styles modalities 
developed by Reid, 1987, particularly for learners of foreign language. The questionnaire assessed private learning styles of students based on how the students learn based using their perceptions. Uh, perception this is visual, auditory, kinetic, and, tactic, and tactile preferences and two social aspects of learning uh, by group and individual preferences all right we go to the finding and discussions generally speaking the result of this study showed that efl students had a strong tendency to kinesthetic learning styles most groups close the minor learning style for visual uh, it's about 53 percent tactile 42 uh 42.5 f 42.9% and the individual learning 40 49.5%. Well, individual is quite big actually. This result is not compatible with the result of Reid study that Asian students usually prefer individual more than group learning styles. Here we can easily see that 45.9 students 45.9% of students are group oriented. Furthermore, it is worth to mention that EFL students consider Kinesthetic 40, uh, which is 48%, auditory 46.9%, and group 45.9% as their frequently used learning style. Among those, kines, among those kinesthetic learning got the highest score, which is 38.95. Okay, conclusion. The result of the analysis and discussions indicate that there are existed, existed some significant relationship between students' learning style, preferences, and such variable as field of the study, length of tertiary study, gender, age, learning language, experience, and English proficiency level. Although it is said that traditionally, the teaching EFL in Vietnam is dominated by the teacher center, book center, grammar, translate method, and emphasis of mechanical memory which result in a number of typical learning styles, with visual learning being one of them. So this is the study proof that the visual, the visual and the individual were only preferred by tiny number of EFL students. Mm. All right, we finally we finally we come to the ending. In conclusion, now I have a, now I will have a suggestion from my own pure thinking as a student. Now that we know there are many various of many various how EFL students learning method and each type are different. So do the method and this method is what our is what our concern uh, is to make our concern is to make it better and develop it in a good one yeah i don't know what, I, what am i talking about so you guys can know it yeah, you, yourself sorry yes. uh, okay that's all i want to say about my suggestion and this is the end of my presentation thank you for you guys attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day everyone thank you